Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. Well, I got a few more um, boot knives in and I wanted to do this video because I had a few requests to show the Gil Hibben as soon as I got it, as soon as it came in. So we'll take a look at that. Um, one of the other new ones is the Western W77 and here's the one that you may have seen on one of my previous videos this is the W75 by Western um, Knife Company and this here is the 77 Sting 1 this is the 2019 Sting 3 and I also got in the 2020 Sting 2. So we'll take a look at um, everything really quick here. Let's first take care of the AG Russells. Put these off to the side so we can move this in a little closer. And you'll see the 77 and the 2019 both have a hollow grind dagger that's back to back. I don't know if you can see that. And that's why um, there's a video on YouTube. In fact, I'll leave a link to it of A.G. Russell explaining how hard it was for knife manufacturers to make this grind. So it's very interesting. Um, but as you'll see, both of these have the hollow grind back to back. And basically what he had in 77 was he had a razor company in Germany. This is the one um, from Solingen, Germany. And I think, I'm not sure, but there's a company called, um, Harry's Razors. I think they're the new owners of the company that built this, that made this in 77. I'm not sure. But Harry's Razors brags about buying a razor company in Germany. But there's so many different, um, uh, whether it's razors, pocket knives, uh, kitchen cutlery that's uh, made in Solingen, Germany. That's probably just a shot in the dark that it's uh, Harry's razors. But now, he went way down. Both of these are a little bit pricey. So he went down to the bare basics. For the Sting 2. Whoops, dropped something. And the Sting 2 is all one forge. It's all one piece. But you'll see it's two flat grinds comprising the dagger. Might be a slight hollow grind on there. But this is from Columbia River, did it for him. Columbia River Knife and Tool, and as you'll see, it's called the Sting AG Russell Design. <coughs> the reason why I got this one is because, of course, I wanted one, two, and three right there, but I also wanted one that's more tactical, that I, with this uh, harness, you can go with a horizontal carry at the small of your back if you're not packing. That might be a problem with me. <laughs> uh, that's where I like to keep the heat, as you might say. But even if I strap this to my ankle, um, it would be more secure than any of these other... Um, boot cheese which aren't very comfortable trust me 
because I carry them quite a bit. But there you have. I like the leather better anyway, though. But I did want one that was more tactical. And I got that right from Columbia River Knife and Tool. Um, $64 delivered to the house. <clears throat> and like I said, it's supposed to be tool, tool steel. Um... It's all one forge, so um, it's not going to break on you. As far as throwing it, I've heard, yes, you can, and I've heard people breaking their tips. But, I mean, in a pinch, you could throw it, no problem. I know I wouldn't have a problem throwing it if I had to. And hopefully, you got probably a 50-50 chance that it sticks. Okay, now the westerns. Two westerns. Well, you guys seen this? This one I love to use. I even carry it in my front pocket. And with western, this little letter down here, that F is a date code. So you got Western USA, then the model number W75 and F. And that F denotes 1982. And you can see this one's got a little wear on it, but it's got all its steel left. Really fun knife to carry and use. But not very big. Um, less than three and a half inches. On blade length so then you go up to the W77 and this one man I got this for a steel look at how I mean you can smell this leather and it smells like new leather and this is also made you see the little F down there also made in 1982 and you can see they're pretty much identical except for size uh, the bigger the 77 is rosewood and the smaller one is paco wood but check out this blade on here never been used all the steel the original edge there's still a polish on the handle some beautiful yeah this one looks like pack of wood too but they advertise the seller put down rosewood but that kind of looks like pack of wood too as compared and you'll see this one Needs a good buffing and polish. But since it's my user, I'm not really too concerned about that. This one right here, for something that was made in 1982, to look that sweet. Yes, indeed. So these were a little expensive, too. This, this was $90, as is. And this was $150 as is. And the AG Russell, $150. The AG Russell, uh, $180. And the AG Russell, $64. So that's some pretty pricey cutlery there. So you want to try something a little different? What you need to do is look into, why well, I put these over here, look into Gil Hibben. Now, of course, you're not going to get super steel, but what you're going to get is a really nice sheath, leather sheath. This is also pack of wood.
Yes, this is a boot knife. If you see the clip, you just got, you just got to wear cowboy boots. Big old uh, West Texas cowboy boots. But check it out. It's a Bowie knife. Look at that polish on there. And this is one of the CR steels, um, which I believe is Sandvik. This one is GH5047 stainless. Maybe a steel nerd can tell me exactly what that is. Now we're really talking about uh, over six inches for a boot dagger. Handle is almost four and a quarter. Stainless steel guard, stainless steel pommel, all mirror finish. Got a brass spine support, although they actually say these are kind of dual purpose. Not only does it support the spine down here at the um, higher impact zone, it's also when you're guarding against a, another blade that swipes, it'll get hooked here. So you get into a real old, old West Texas um, knife fight. You may get lucky, but look at that beautiful polish on there. What I like about this, too, is for as inexpensive as it was, and it's made in China, but you don't have a lot of epoxy. Like, you know, yeah, um, I got a knife that was made in China, made by marbles, big old Bowie really a turd um epoxy coming out everywhere uh, the parts weren't flush but this i looked it over really good really flush on the handle no um epoxy squirting out the the handle here it is a rat tail tang but don't let that scare you. Um, I watched two guys on YouTube try to destroy a K-Bar Mark II. I think it's Mark II. Is it Mark II? Mark II or Mark IV? The fighting knife. Um, the um, well-known, well-renowned um, fighting knife. In fact, I'll get it right here. Which, by the way, only has a 7-inch blade. And it's not considered a boot knife. Something you want to strap on your side here. But a lot of people were using these, buying these, and using them out in the bush. And a lot of people said they had no problem. Um, the two people that tried to destroy this did everything they could. And I knew exactly what they could do to, to break it. And that was they finally wedged it in a tree and hung on it. Using their weight on the handle. And of course it bent at the thinnest part there on the, the rat tail. So, this is a rat tail, but I mean, this is just a knife to show off with your buddies here. Um, you could buy it for a user, but it was $65 shipped to the door, much cheaper than all these other ones. And to me, just as much style in a lot of class. Old, it's called, let me get the box.
Here's the box that the Columbia River dagger was in. And here's the Gil Hibben Old West boot knife with sheath. Comes with a certificate of authenticity, which is in the box. But anyway, there you go. There's the Gil Hibben boot knife. Um, biggest boot knife I've ever seen <coughs> at this size. Uh, like I said, it's almost as long. It's almost as uh, long as this blade, which is seven inches. And I also have the um, Fairbairn and Sykes uh, Commando British Commando dagger, and that's a seven inch. But that. I, I don't know if they consider that a boot knife. I know it straps to your calf. Um, but I guess that's close enough to the boot. So there's some big ones out there. Anyway, my friends, uh, tomorrow, Tonto Tuesday, we'll be going for at least 10, maybe even 12. And it'll be a clean decap all the way through. Everything will be sliced right in half. I guarantee it. So until next time, my friends, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.